Let's talk about the colon health today. Colon health becomes a common social issue and a common health issue. It's a common issue because defecation is part of everybody's daily life. It's a social issue because the bowel movement is affected by many social factors, such as the food industry, lifestyle, as well as social eco development. Common health issues include diverticulosis, diverticulitis, and colon cancer. Colonoscopy is mandatory in a few countries. It starts from age of 50 and five years earlier when there is one family history. Colonoscopy is good at finding early stage of colon cancer. There is an easier way to screen the colon health which is a cold blood test. It can be done at home. If the result is positive, it can be followed up with colonoscopy. Certain kind of foods can make the test result false positive, which means it's not real, so just need to check it out again after changing the diet. Diverticulosis and diverticulitis are very common conditions in the West, but it only becomes popular after the industrialization. It's related to chronic constipation and lifestyle factors. When one is constipated, the stool stays at the end of the colon for a longer time. Then more water is reabsorbed, which makes it even drier. When the feces is drier and harder, it forces a strong pressure on the intestine wall. Over time, the intestine wall becomes thinner and weaker. It's called diverticulosis. Afterwards, it becomes easier to get infected, which is diverticulitis. It's also called left-side appendicitis, since the quality of the pain is very similar to appendicitis, it's just on the other side. These two conditions are very rare in India. Studies have shown that the volume of the stool in the Indian people is a few times bigger than people in the West. It is because there are lots of fibers in the Indian people's diet. These fibers not just increase the stool volume, they are also the best food for the bacteria in the colon. There are trillions of bacteria in the colon that determines our mind and body health. Only when these bacteria are healthy, the humans can be healthy. There are good bacteria and bad bacteria in the colon. And only the good bacteria are healthy the humans are healthy. It's not an easy thing to establish a good healthy flora. There were no bacteria flora at all in the newborn's intestine. From breastfeeding and other contacts with the mother, the newborn gradually built up the bacteria flora. Once these flora are established in an adult's intestine, it's very difficult to change them, since there are trillions of them and they live in a balanced society. When one wants to introduce some new bacteria by drinking some probiotics, the new introduction of flora is difficult to survive for a long time. Since they live on our lives, they live on what we eat, what we think, and what we live. On another hand, they contribute to our lives as well, but only after they are fully established in the bacteria society and becomes a real part of our body. For example, a plant-based diet and a meat-based diet produce different flora. Reversely, once these flora are established, they begin to affect how we think 
and how we behave. In Chinese medicine, meat are considered as part of the flesh and blood, which has emotions. After eating meat, people more easily to get desires and emotional conditions such as anxiety. In order to get a pure peace of mind, the monks in the temple are absolutely forbidden to eat any meat. These are how the food and the bacteria affects our colon health. The bowel movement and the constipation are also affected by stress, which suppresses the parasympathetic nervous system and then slow down the bowel movement and cause constipation. In traditional Chinese medicine, lungs and the large intestines are the same. The lungs are an emotional organ. It's negatively affected by emotions like sadness and weariness, so that when one is always in a mood condition like this, the bowel movement begins to slow down and constipation occurs. Today we talked about colon health. Thanks for listening and watching. See you next time.